Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have a marvellous case of cognitive dissonance now. Bristol City Council, down in the southwest, is complaining that a boating festival is too white and that it excludes members of the global majority. So they're saying that this is an oppressive, overly white affair, but at the same time acknowledging that it's an ethnic minority doing it. And though they are complaining that it's excluding the ethnic minorities who make up the majority of the world. This is their words, not mine. What this is, basically, is white people enjoying themselves and the left can't stand it. Because ultimately, the left hates the idea that someone, somewhere, is having a good time. But let's have a look at the stupidity of what they're saying. Right, before we get into this, we'll just point out, of course, that uh, for those who don't know, Bristol is a major port and has been so important as a port to Britain for a thousand years. It has a maritime history stretching back almost to the time of Alfred the Great. So it's not surprising that it's going to have a festival of boats. But we'll go into the, the article and honestly I just thought this is sheer stupidity and you just guarantee that uh, it's the Labour Party, it's the left, it's the socialists hating the idea. And the arguments they're coming up with are, and I'm going to use a very technical term here, bollocks. Anyway, let's look at it. Bristol Festival is too white and middle class. Councillors claim the harbour event represents colonialism and celebrates white boating community. Bristol City Council reported, uh, re reportedly examined the highly popular Bristol Harbour Festival. It noted its whiteness and invisible barriers to members of the global majority, i.e. the people of the world who aren't white, the majority. Because after all, the whites of this planet are the minority. It said black and Asian residents were put off by overconsumption of alcohol. That is also a load of dingo's kidneys because some of the biggest drinkers I've ever known have been black friends of mine. I have gone drinking many times with Asian. And when I say Asian, I mean South Asian, Indian, not sort of Far East Asian. Um, I've not drunk a lot with Far East Asian people simply because of the dynamic of where I have grown up. But that argument is spurious and I will address it because it, what they're actually saying there is not what they're actually saying there. The words they're using isn't what they're saying. But we'll come back to that. So anyway, Bristol's leading festival, which has been branded too white and middle class, is a local in a local council report, which added that the harbour, which serves as its centrepiece, represents colonialism. Uh, no, how can a harbour represent anything? It's a harbour. It's there. I don't know what it represents. It represents a place where boats tie up. The investigation into the Popular Harbour Festival, which attracts a quarter of a million people each July, highlighted its whiteness and the invisible barriers to members of the global majority, a woke term used to refer to the non-white population. But majority. These wokies are always going about the minorities, all oh, the ethnic minorities, the ethnic minorities. They're actually admitting white people are the ethnic minority, but because they're white, they can't be seen as a put-upon group even though white working class boys are the lowest achievers in this country and the least likely to go to university and likely to earn the least as any group in the country. But they don't like admitting that either because it goes against their agenda. It also suggested that older and disabled people, families and black and Asian residents were put off by the overconsumption of alcohol and the commercial approach to food. That's right, because unless you're white, you don't drink alcohol and unless you're white, you don't eat food. That's what these morons are saying. I'm going to say bullshit. Have you seen how many bars there are around the world? Now, a little brief history. I have travelled on every continent of the planet and I have drunk in every continent on the planet. I have drunk in bars in South America. I've drunk. I have been up the Orinoco. I kid you not. I have been up the Orinoco River. We came to a trading post and behind it was an Irish pub. I've drunk in Australia, I've drunk in Africa, I've drunk in uh, Black Africa and in um, 
Muslim Africa at the top. I have drunken bars all across the top of Africa. I have drunken bars in the Middle East, in the Far East, Hong Kong, Macau. These people aren't white, but these people get drunk, let me tell you. So that argument is a load of old crap. And as for, shall we say, what did they call it? Commercial approach to food. That's right, because only white people buy food. Have you not eaten street food in the Far East? That's commercial, because I had to pay for it. I was eating stuff out of vans, along with all the locals. Their argument is full of shit, because they've never actually travelled to the world and seen this stuff. They've never, they've never eaten in South America. They've never eaten in Central Africa. They've never eaten in the Far East. They've never travelled. They know nothing. But what they are doing is looking for anything they can do to put down on the white population of this country. Now, they're saying this is hideously white. It probably is. But here's the thing. 3%, 3% of the population of this country are black. And an awful lot of them live in London and around London. Two thirds of them live within a 50 mile radius of the centre of London. It's not surprising there's going to be a lot of white people down in the southwest. And if they're saying, oh, well, there's not many Asians there. Well, that's because there's not many Asians there. But we'll come to that argument in a minute. Uh, the council con consulted on the 50 year old event following Black Lives Matter. But of course it did. Uh, protests in Bristol and the toppling of a statue of a slave trader, Edward uh, Colston, into the harbour. Social media users reacted with anger at the report, with one calling it nonsense and another saying the report asks what needs changing. Bristol City Council is what needs changing. The Harbour Festival is an annual celebration of Bristol's maritime heritage and the importance of its docks and harbour. Uh, Bristol wouldn't exist without those docks. It's nothing to do with colonialism. It's all to do with economics. Those docks existed and made Bristol a massive rich city back in the day. Uh, its origins as the Harbour Regatta were raised as an issue by council pen pushers. Oh, of course they were. Uh, due to its traditional events celebrating the boating community, which is predominantly white. We live in a white country. Of course people are going to be white. The council report warned that the festival currently has the perception of being a white English festival. And what's wrong with that? I mean, seriously, can the white English not have a celebration? Is that what they're saying? Oh, you're not allowed to have a celebration of white Englishness because that's racist. No, it's a celebration of being white and English. No one said black people can't come. We are merely celebrating white English history, which to the vast proportion is 99.99% of English history. There's nothing wrong with being white or English. These people are saying there is. They're the racists. Um, it added, the consultation highlighted the whiteness of the festival and the invisible barriers to members of the global community, as well as participants with mobility issues or neurodiverse needs. Yeah, you're not going to get a lot of people in wheelchairs going on boats for several reasons. One, gangplanks are very hard to manoeuvre. And number two, boats do that. And if you're in a boat doing that and you're in a wheelchair doing that, Chances are you'll even go off the end. Rah, splash. Whose fault would that be? The seas. It's, it goes on. It's just, oh, it's a, the current mayor, Marvin Rees, who Bristolians voted in a referendum in May to ditch because like, he's so appallingly toxic, is on record as despising everything he labelled as dismissively Brunel, Bridges and Bloons. He hates Brunel, one of the greatest Englishmen who ever lived. He hates Bridges because they're colonial. No, they get you over. He needs a bridge. He needs to build a bridge and get the hell over himself. Uh, and he hates balloons. I don't know why. Uh, as when Mr. Reese championed the criminals who demolished Edward Colston City Centre statue in 2020, his administration hates everything which true Bristolians prize. He is a hate-filled, narcissistic lefty who thinks only his view matters. And he hates the idea of white people having fun. Now, I mentioned a part at the beginning, which I'm going to come to here. Said black and Asian residents were put off by the overconsumption of alcohol. That is my line of bullshit. And I'm going to tell you why. What they actually mean is they're Muslims. Because Muslims don't drink, right? That's their choice. It's not a medical condition, you know, because religion, you're not born into, you're not born any religion. You may have a religion imposed upon you, beaten into you, 
you know, uh, brainwashed into you. But you're not that religion. You choose to be a religion. And so if you choose to be Muslim, then you choose not to drink. And so if someone else is drinking, that's fine. Muslims are happy to come along. Nobody's saying Muslims can't come along. They're saying, oh, but people are drinking. So the Muslims can drink if they want to. They have to make a choice. But they're saying Asian people, their words, Asians put off by alcohol. I tell you what, you need to go to drinking in uh, Japan. They're Asians. They're not put off by alcohol. Jesus. And I've seen a lot of Sikhs, Hindus. They, they're all Asian. And they're all drinking. They're using the word Asian, but they don't mean Asian, do they? They mean Muslim. But they lack the balls to say it. And as for black, well, let me tell you, I have been in Jamaica, sitting in a bar, supping the red stripe. There may have been other intoxicating narcotics available. I am not confirming anything. And let me tell you, we had a great time. We were the only two white people in that bar and we were having a crack time. Bob Marley came in. Not the real Bob Marley, he was an impersonator. I've got the picture, a one-legged Bob Marley impersonator. He was really good. Man, this is what you do. Don't tell me black people are put off by people drinking. It's bullshit. And don't call them Asians when you don't mean Asians. Use the right words. Now, the the counterpoint I'm going to I was going to get to with this, uh, but I'll save the counterpoint until I come up, which I will do now. So, if we take a look at the Bristol mayor who thinks it's too white, hideously white, and is colonial and doesn't like the idea of white people having fun. Let's have a look at him. Here's a picture. Yeah, do you think he wants some salt and vinegar for that chip on his shoulder? Uh, I was going to say that the reverse is also true because I have seen uh, the Notting Hill Festival. And what I noticed about the, what the Notting Hill Festival is it was pure celebration of blackness. There was very few white faces there. I think that needs investigating. I think something needs to be said because, you know, it's it was... It was not made friendly for white middle class people. Oh, what? It's meant to be like that. Now, that mayor is so out of touch and so wrong. He's saying white people can't have a celebration, but I bet he goes bopping along come the, uh, the end of August down in Notting Hill. Anyway, she'll leave it there. He's such a hypocrite, isn't he? If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for future notifications. Leave a like, leave a comment, and until next time, stay safe, stay well, don't be divided by idiots like this, and goodbye.